What is going on you guys? This is Tech HD coming at you with a brand new unboxing video and today we're going to be unboxing the Elgato HD60 Pro. Now if you guys don't know about Elgato Gaming, Elgato Gaming creates capture cards to record on the Xbox, PS4, PC, Nintendo, all those types of consoles. And Elgato is one of the best in the company basically in the industry of making capture cards. Literally 95% of the people will recommend Elgato over anything else. Elgato beats Hop Hog. Uh, Rokio, I think it's what it's called, I don't remember, and all those other ones, Ava Media, and Elgato beats them because of the quality and how great the software is and the hardware, all of that type of stuff. So we're going to be taking a look at this, and this is the HD60 Pro, and I, I've i been owning the uh, HD60 for a couple of years now, and it's great, it's fantastic, literally 1080p, 60 frames per second, it's perfect, and it runs on USB, and I can hook it up to my laptop or my desktop, the only problem is, is that it has that delay. So what I would need to do is I would need to sync up my audio, my face cam with the gameplay and sometimes it fluctuates like it's different. I have to mess around with milliseconds instead of seconds. It's honestly a little bit frustrating but then once you get the hang of it, it becomes a little bit easier. But overall, that was the main issue. And also I want a little bit more quality. So this one records 1080p 60 frames at 40 megabits per second. This one records 1080p 60 frames at 60 megabits per second. So it's a little bit different in the quality. This one's a little bit better. And this one has that zero delay. So that zero latency. So now I don't have to mess with uh, syncing my audio or my face cam or anything like that. Basically, I could just go to OBS add the face cam, add my microphone, add this gameplay, and I'm all set. Literally everything is all synced up and it's perfect. So basically what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna set this up. Now this only works for desktops. It does not work for laptop because it works on uh, PCIe and no laptops have that obviously. So we're gonna be hooking this up to my desktop. And also I wanna show you guys how to set it up with the uh, Elgato chat link cable because this one has a 3.5 millimeter input and this one doesn't so I'm going to be showing you guys how to set that up to get that nice uh, PS4 audio with the uh, microphone and party chat and all that because PS4 still has that issue where the Xbox doesn't only on game chat but basically we're going to be taking a look at this we're going to be unboxing this and we're going to be setting everything up and we're going to see how great this performs Okay you guys, so now taking a look at the packaging, you can see that I removed the plastic wrapping so that the unboxing would be a lot quicker. But basically, Elgato did a revamp of everything, literally the packaging and their logo. I still have the old packaging of the HD60 if I could find it somewhere. But basically, they did like a complete revamp, everything's different, the logo, the box, and I really like the new style of it, it looks really nice. I, I'm going on to like the new logo, you know, it's going on me, but overall, it looks really cool. So you can see right here, HD60 Pro, stream instantly, record perfectly, PCIe, it has 1080p at 60 frames per second, 60 megabits per second, max bitrate, H.264 encoder, instant game view, so that instant uh, view in the box, you can see right here, you got the game capture, HD60 Pro, the high and low profile bracket, the HDMI cable, and on the other side, there's nothing, and over here, this is where the software is you got the built-in editor the master copy live commentary stream command instant game view the software is literally like the best thing and then you got the bracket over here you got the hdmi in and out you got the pcie slot works with ps4 xbox one nintendo twitch youtube all of that and there are some requirements so you will need a windows 10 uh 64 bit you will need an intel core i5 cpu or better or and you will need an intel hd nvidia geforce gtx 600 or better and so that means that no amd um graphics card will work with this and you will need a pcie slot so let's get right into this enough talking and let's get this started my god i like that logo really looks cool all right so you can see right here uh the site which will be down in the description below to uh download the software way on, on how to install you just install one two three four very simple that's pretty much it looks like there's, there's nothing else but right here we got the sticker so that you could put on your desktop to let people know that you're rocking an hd60 pro baby all right so now let's open this up let's pull this out and we got the uh, hd60 here the pro here and then we got the uh low profile uh bracket the in and out let's move over to the side and we got an hdmi cable so i like how they provide you with an extra hdmi cable and a little guess warranty and stuff like that let's 
put everything else to the side and let's take a look at the hd60 pro looks really cool and i'm gonna have to be careful with this you can see all over here this is a little bit exposed but that's not a problem you can see the uh, pcie and if we flip this over we got the badass hd60 pro right here with the logo and also on the side as well looks really cool and then we got the elgato gaming in and out and then we got a lower profile of the bracket so that looks really cool so now we got the catch card right here so now what we're gonna do i'm gonna bring my pc over and we're just gonna set this up i'm gonna show you guys where to hook it up and it's pretty easy you know every motherboard has a pcie slot so we're gonna be setting this up and then we're gonna be going into the computer and uh downloading the software and everything all right all right, you guys, so over here, I got my PC. And so everything that you will need is the Elgato HD60 Pro and also a Phillips screwdriver. So before we do that, the first thing I just want to do is. Hell yeah, now I got the Elgato sticker on that. So now the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to remove this. We're going to remove the case. We're going to put it over to the side. And so the first thing that we want to do is we want to find out where the PCIe slot is. So usually it's under or above the first graphics card slot. So basically I have one above and below. So we're going to put it to the one above. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to remove the bracket to the side. So that's what you're going to need the Phillips screwdriver for. All right, so now we got the bracket removed. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna need that screw again. So we're just gonna put the capture card in. All right, so now the capture card is plugged in. So now all we have to do is just put the screw back in and secure it. Okay, so it's that simple basically. You just gotta plug that in. You gotta find your PCIe slot, plug that in, and then screw it back in. It's very simple, just remove the bracket, you know, all of that. Okay, you guys, so now we're taking a look at the back of the PC, and as you can see, we got the in and out of the Elgato HD60 Pro, so it's perfectly aligned with the bracket. Nothing's uh, wrong with that, so that is good. And now, what I want to show you guys is how to set up the Elgato chat link cable, because since the HD60 Pro doesn't have a 3.5 millimeter input. So what you want to do is you want to put this one into the pink one, because that is the microphone and you want to make sure that you put it into the back because the motherboard's audio is way better than the one in the front the front io is not that great so make sure you put it into the back of it and you are all set basically now what you want to do is you want to hook this up to your xbox one controller or your ps4 controller and then you hook this one up to your headset whichever headset that you have and you're basically all set and i'll show you guys how to set the um set it to the primary to the analog audio in the elgato software all right you guys all right, you guys, so now we're on the PC. So if we go over to Google Chrome and we open up elgadogaming.com, basically if you go to the top right, you go to downloads, and then you can either choose version 3.5 or you could choose the public beta, and that supports AMD graphics card, which is amazing, Beam Pro, which is now Mixer, and uh, more. So basically it supports AMD graphics cards now, which means lower CPU usage and better performance, minimum requirements, and then it has Beam integration, which is Mixer basically. Uh, Twitter video upload, so you can upload directly to Twitter if you want after uh, recording a clip, so that is pretty awesome. And then some improvements are preview now plays in 60 frames per second, so that is pretty cool, even with overlays. So before it was limited to 30 frames, but now it supports 60 frames, so that is awesome. And various bugs fixed and all that so what I did was I downloaded the 3.6 so what you do is you download it you say next yes uh, download sound capture all of that and then it'll reboot your PC and then you're basically done and so now as you can see right here I got the Elgato software opened up I have the preview disabled because I wanted to show like that continuation and because it's capturing my PC right now but you can see on the top right it has the game capture HD 60 Pro it has the driver 1.1.0.172 and then it's recording at 1080p at 60 frames per second 21 27.1 gigabits an hour so that is pretty crazy and then if we go to this device if we go to capture i have it set to pc i have set to the audio input and expanded allow 60 frames and all the way to the best because that's what my graphics card supports so that's pretty cool i also forgot to mention remember how i talked about the uh, chat link cable and then you hook it up to the back of the pc so if you right click on the bottom right and you hit recording devices basically i have my focus right uh, microphone setup 
but this is the this is the cable this is the uh, chat link cable and basically I have it set to 100% of the microphones I don't like the microphone boost because that starts to create distortion and stuff like that I have the enhancements turned off and then at the advanced I set it all the way to the best quality because you know you want the best quality you want studio quality so that's how I have it set up so that is the chat link cable just to let you guys know and I'm gonna be showing you guys how to set it up if you want to record like PS4 and stuff like that and so now if we go back to the software like I, like I said I showed you this part and then if we go all the way to the top you can see at the advanced I got the video codec and that is my G, uh, GTX 960 I have a set to more almost to the highest quality I like a little bit of performance but I like mainly quality which is really good and then on the capture I save it to wherever I want to enable flashback recording if you forget to record enable stream command so you can add your webcam your your stream overlays all those types of stuff your sharing so I have all these checked off except the mp4 because I want it to be saved as an h.264 file mp4 because that's the best one um, but you can share it to YouTube Facebook, Twitter, email, all of that. And then I have to mix the following tracks to export. I have, the only thing that I have is the sound capture to mix. And then everything else is sub it exports as a different file because maybe I want to edit the vocals and stuff like that. And so I want those files to be separate. And then there's updates, hotkeys, that's nothing really. And if we look to the live streaming, you can see that the plus, you can add Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, Mixer, Restream, Ustream, Daily Motion, all of that. And then you could set the, um, the megabits per second, the bitrate basically uh, for the type of platform that you're streaming on. And we got the game audio and then we got the live commentary. I have them set to decibel. So if you just click on them, it goes back to percentage. But then I like to have it on decibel level. And then you can see on the live commentary, I have my Focusrite Scarlet Solo Studio Pack. And then if we unclick this, then it won't record any of the live commentary. So you got to make sure that the live commentary is turned on so that it could record your voice. And then we got the Elgato sound capture. I, I have it off right now, but if you want to record like PC and your and your friend's voice and the PC audio stuff like that, then you can use this. And then we have the record button. We got the flashback. We got the live. We got to take a screenshot. Um, mute. You got the stream button. And once you have everything all set up, and then the enable preview. And then on the stream command, we can add stuff like overlays, different types of scenes, all those types of things. On the plus, you can add all of these types. So I got my my C920 webcam, I got text, videos, images, web pages, all of that. So there's really a lot into the software and I really like, that's what I really like about Elgato. And then you could uh, give it a title, the game, a description, tags. You could do all that in this software. So that's pretty cool. And then there's even an edit section. So like when you're done recording, like I, I did this clip as an example. So I could just click a certain part and then I could trim it. I could delete it, all that type of things. I could zoom in and out and then I could just trim it and then export it as a mp4 or any of those other share features so that is really cool so basically this is the entire software and like i said before with the chat link cable if you want to record that all you have to do is just go to the audio input and then set it to the microphone basically the one that uh is set to that and then it'll close your it'll start to like reset the pc not the pc it'll reset the screen and then it'll be all good to go you click ok and then you're all set so that's basically the Elgato software and the HD60 Pro. This is honestly insane. And really, Elgato is the best in software and the best in hardware. Like, the best of both. Best in hardware, best in software. They're really, you cannot beat them. None of the other companies are up to their par with this. Like, it's honestly, it's unbelievable on how far ahead of they are compared to other companies, which is pretty crazy. So there you guys have it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That is the unboxing and setup of the Elgato HD60 Pro. Let me know down in the comments below on what you guys think about this. Everything will be down in the description below. All the links to set everything up for the software and stuff like that. So let me know down in the comments below. Also, I'm going to be streaming a lot more definitely with this bad boy. So if you guys want to see me stream, it'll be down in the description below as well. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and stay tuned because next week's video... It's going to be really interesting. It's going to be really similar, you know. So we're gonna be, you know, we're gonna be taking a look and upgrading more of our streaming setup and stuff like that. So there you guys have it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, Twitch. As always, this is Tech HD. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.